questions? Deputy Mayor Brosnan. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, John, I just, I suppose, wanted to make a point, um, and that is, I know there was a little bit of unease in our regional partners when we originally came out with our public-private split on this particular um, piece of coastal uh, protection work. Everyone would be aware we're working through the, the Coastal Hazard uh, Joint Committee to, to further those sort of cell-by-cell -cell responses. And I just wonder if you could make some comment as to why this one was different um, in the way that we assess the public-private split, just to give those partners some certainty that it's not a model that we're intending to overrun that, um, that committee with. Wow, uh, that's a great question. Uh, I'll try and I'll do my best to answer that um, without rambling on, perhaps. Um, so uh, one of the, the key considerations when we looked at the private um, public funding split, um, and I guess this is probably one of the earlier projects to be considered um, in the coastal hazard strategy in, in that regard, was um, potential uh, exacerbators in the nature of the erosion that's occurring in and around West Shore. And um, without going into the technical detail, the, the debate um, highlighted the potential for the port channel and um, capital dredging to be an exacerbator in that situation. Now, there's a lot of um, science on this uh, that, um, depending on whose point of view you take with that scientific um, work, uh, does uh, I think that generally the uh, um, it was recognised that it is a, an exacerbator, mm -hmm. but um, there is no mechanism to have them um, share in the funding of um, any solution. And so council um, saw that that should be met by um, some uh, basically um, public funding to, in recognition of that and that the private property owners shouldn't uh, be uh, lumbered with some of that cost. Um, as it turns out, we ended up with a 97-3 split, um, and I think that is a recognition that, in principle, there is benefit to the private property owners, uh, and so, in principle, they should contribute. Um, you know, we're not here to debate the 97-3 again, um, but I think that's really where we landed, is a recognition that there were exacerbators, that uh, there was no mechanism um, to contribute to funding, uh, and this was where council landed in terms of what they felt was fair and reasonable. Yeah, and I think it's also just fair to say as well that there was a lot of historical discussion with this particular piece of work that led through to the decision around that funding split as well, um, and that that um, isn't going to be the case moving forward because we start afresh with each new project. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's a good point to make there in, in closing. Thank you.